Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart and uh, oh yeah, noise maker right here. All right, so pardon the mess uh, in the back here. We're in the backyard of my house and Archie's barking away, so we're gonna keep moving. If I stop, he just keeps barking. Anyway, one of the nice things about our uh, home here in Moncton is we have this beautiful backyard and the pathway that goes from Harrisville Boulevard uh, for four and a half kilometers runs right out the back of our house here. So we're going to go for a walk on the pathway with Archie today. All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Stuart. Missy is in the house. Missy doesn't partake in this uh, ritual that Archie and I have. Uh, yeah, we're out on a walk, the Harrisville Trail. I'm not sure if that's the official title, that's what I call it. Runs from Harrisville Boulevard in Moncton for four and a half kilometers. And uh, it's a uh, well take care of in the wintertime. There's uh, folks that uh, come and plow it. And uh, you, know, you see here, people ride their bikes on it. People walk their dogs. And uh, yeah, the trail is well maintained. I'll take some uh, photos and some uh, video here and show you uh, what it's all about. Now, Archie and I uh, yeah, started yesterday going six kilometers. We used to do only four. Actually, sorry, my, my bad. We did four kilometers yesterday. We used to do two. So we doubled our output and today we're going for another 4K walk. And uh, one of these days we'll make it right to the end, which is Mill Road. Uh, that Mill Road from here, where I'm at right now, is four kilometers away. One day we'll make it and that'll be an eight kilometer road trip from our house to Mill Road and back. So on the day I'm recording this, it's uh, I think it's April 23rd today. I oh, mean, the day just, uh, who cares? Who paid attention to the actual date? Anyway, yeah, it's April 23rd-ish, and it's a beautiful day in Moncton today. So we're out for a walk. It's a Sunday. We're going to get our exercise and uh, take uh, the old boy here for a walk. He loves it anyway. He, you see how he was freaking out earlier. Oh, yeah, Moncton has uh, leash laws on this trail. So, shh. You didn't see Archie. Uh, Archie's on a big long leash. And the uh, and the dandelions are out, which is a good sign that spring is here, everyone. The dandelions are out. Now we're just waiting for all the uh, leaves to come back on all the trees, which uh, some of the trees are already starting to uh, bud. Is that the right terminology to use? So they're starting to bud. So it'll only be a matter of time until uh, the leaves are out on the trees and uh, summer is here in New Brunswick. Yeah, having this uh, trail right outside the back of our house was an added bonus we never even thought of when we bought the house. It's great because now we just walk out the backyard, as you saw, and we're onto the trail. So it's, uh, yeah, an added little bonus here. And uh, it does me, the old man, my old man body here, some good to get out and get some exercises every, every, every day. We, like I said, Archie and I try to get out. We make an effort to try to get out at least three times a week. Would we like to do more? Absolutely. But I'm still working and the busyness of work sometimes gets in the way. I'm gonna make a more conscious effort now that the spring is here. Cause in the, in the wintertime it's difficult, uh, but in the summertime and the spring, why not? You know, we can enjoy this trail to at least early November now and it's April now, so we got lots of time. And Archie goes bushwhacking a lot. So he's in the bush right now. Archie, where are you? I can hear him. Come on. You know, for an 11 year old dog, he's in pretty good shape. You know, uh, still a little bit of snow on the ground here too. Not very much left though. This is probably the last of it uh, in the shade. But, but yeah, Archie's uh, in pretty good shape for an 11 year old dog. He uh, outlasts me on these walks, I'll tell you that for sure. Oh, the little black doggy here, otherwise known as Archie, loves this trail because right now there's tons of squirrels and they're little squirrels. They're not big squirrels that we had in Florida. Uh, they're little squirrels here and he thinks he can catch them. He's not going to catch them. As long as he thinks that, keeps them running around because he runs up all the trees and starts barking at the trees and says, I'm the mighty squirrel hunter, which he's really not. 
How do you think she is? You know, some uh, folks may be uh, wondering why I only carry Archie's leash. Now, I carry a leash because, of course, if there's other dogs on the trail, uh, stop. Hey, get over here. I didn't want to, uh, I got distracted. Anyway, yeah, so back to what uh, my, trans my original train of thought as he goes bushwhacking again. Uh, I carry Archie's leash because if there's other dogs on the trail, I want to practice good owner etiquette and make sure he's leashed around other dogs because first off, you don't know what the other dogs are like. Secondly, dogs can be unpredictable. But Archie's really good at listening. He, he listens really well and um, I have no worries about him uh, off the leash uh, here because as I said, when, uh, when I was in Hilton Head, their rule was off leash uh, voice control. So he does well. Just, just look at him go, like he is just running into the bush, running back, running forward, and uh, he doesn't stop. Hard to believe he's 11 and a half years old. He's got all kinds of energy left in him, that boy. So he does have a bit of a heart issue and that heart issue uh, concerns me a little bit because last week we were supposed to, like I said, we're supposed to be in Vancouver right now or on our way to Vancouver, but spooky, some complications issue um, around his heart murmur. Uh, he's got uh, congestive heart failure now. So he's on medication to protect that. And I got to get Archie because there's a dog coming to pull out right back. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we had that other dog come by throw the grab Archie. Anyway, I was saying, I was saying uh, Spooky's got congestive heart failure and we were supposed to be on our way to Vancouver right now. But on Thursday night, the night before we were supposed to leave, he uh, started showing some uh, very uh, troublesome signs. So we got him to the emergency vet at Riverview Animal Hospital. Shout out to uh, Peggy McLaughlin, the vet there. She was awesome, uh, but she took care of uh, Spooky. Needs to say, we're here and, uh, and, uh, and we're, uh, <laughs> Archie loves his walk. So it's funny when we're uh, walking on the trail here that uh, we always stop and talk to people and you know, with especially other dog owners and they're always shocked that Archie's 11 years old. He's got the energy of a puppy, this little doggy of mine. Lots of bikes on the path today, so we're gonna be careful. The only uh, uncertainty thing I have about this trail is in the uh, late spring, summer, what are the bugs like? Are they are there black flies, mosquitoes everywhere around here? If that's the case, it's gonna kind of be sucky. But uh, if it's not, then it'll be great. But uh, we'll find out, I guess, when spring and summer here, being our first spring and summer in New Brunswick since we moved back up here from Florida last October, November, officially November 30th, if anybody from CRA is watching. Uh, but uh, we, were just, we officially crossed the border on November 30th and, and declared our residency back in Canada. Anyway, um, yeah, that's my biggest concern here. But I heard that New Brunswick is amazing in the summertime. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And with our trip to Vancouver kind of canceled now, I'm gonna fly out to go see clients in Calgary and Missy's gonna fly out at the end of May to go see her daughter and her grandkids out in Vancouver. We get to spend the summer here in New Brunswick, which I'm really looking forward to. All right, so we're coming up on our turnaround point, the two kilometer mill road sign, and Archie's just blown right past it. He has no idea that this is the turnaround point in our walk today. So yeah, mill road from this point is two kilometers, and we started off near our house at four. So this is our two kilometer turnaround point. Oh, daddy, is this a turnaround point already? All right, so we're at the mill road, two kilometers, 25, 30 minutes. So let's say 30 minutes uh, to get here, give or take. So, uh, a lot better than yesterday, because yesterday I was feeling it by this time. Today I'm not doing too bad. I'm kinda, that two kilometer mark kinda stuck up on me. We're doing a lot better today than we did yesterday. You know what's funny is uh, everybody stops and talks to Archie and they talk to him in French. Because New Brunswick uh, being French and English, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't have any, none the wiser. He just goes, oh yeah, that's a person. I'm gonna go say hi. But his, he just goes up, kinda sniffs once and then leaves. On the walk, he's not a very sociable dog. He doesn't really talk to too many people on the trip. He just was I'm out here for a walk. I got, I got things to do. Squirrels to chase. All right, just ran into a guy who has a Labradoodle, six-year-old, off the leash, just like Archie. 
And you know what? The dogs are so much better behaved when they're not on a leash. But I understand how some people want to keep their dog on a leash, but I like Archie to run, enjoy his freedom. But if somebody else has their dog on a leash, then I'm going to put Archie on a leash. That's just etiquette. So from uh, kilometer marker uh, three to two on our trail, also, that's all indicated here. There's all kinds of these uh, small bridges across the stream. And uh, it just makes it feel so picturesque. Uh, like I said, I am so happy that Missy found this place when we were looking for a home. I'm sure Yarmouth would have been great and Digby would have been great, but uh, uh, Moncton just seems to have everything that we need. And this trail here is the icing on the cake. So uh, yesterday when we started to do this extra kilometer or two kilometers, we uh, came across this bench here. Now we stopped here yesterday because this old man was out of breath, but today we're going to keep going because today I'm going to do much better, but I want to stop and uh, just show you this bench. So this bench is uh, here for Joe Ben, known as the Cannon Man, 1962 to 2015. He was a leading seaman in the, in the Navy. And uh, I guess, uh, I don't know his history, but he must have spent a lot of time here just enjoying the nature on this beautiful area. It's a really good one. The community recognizes guys like Joe Venn uh, for their service in the military because being an ex-military guy, you know, a lot, I think a lot of people pay attention to that now, but in the past, they never did. So it's good to see that uh, happening. Another dog coming. I gotta get Archie on his leash. There again. Is Archie a puppy? No, he's 11. He's in really good shape for 11 years old, I'll tell you. Hey boy, are you in good shape for 11? Let me see. What are you up to? Hey, hey, stop. Tell everybody what you're doing. Hey, Archie. Archie, look at me. Look at me. No, Daddy, I'm supposed to be walking. Let's go. All right, just up this hill and we're almost home. Four Ks, this old fat body, not too bad. Didn't stop much today other than to talk to the guy with the Labradoodle for like five minutes, not even five minutes. Not doing too bad. A little bit, a little winded, got up this last little hill to do, and then the home stretch. We'll see you on the other side. And he just keeps going. Like, no stopping him whatsoever. Look at that. Just keep going, eh, Arch? Don't bug me, Daddy. I gotta walk. Now the other cool thing about this walking trail is that uh, the city of Moncton supplies us with poop bags. We never have to buy poop bags ever again. There's a whole supply of them right here. Plus here's all the rules for the uh, city of Moncton and your dogs. Archie's got his license, he's all legal. And uh, yeah, but that's cool. They give you poop bags. So we'll never have to buy poop bags ever again. All right, home stretch time. All right, home is uh, just around the next bend. In another video, I'll show you uh, what's wrong around the corner if we go the other way from our house. Beautiful pond and a few other things cool to see. Anyway, 4Ks, we did it. We'll check the time and see how long it took us to get the uh, round trip. All right, one hour exactly from the minute we left to getting home, one hour. Hope you enjoyed our walk on the, I call it the Harrisville Trail. I don't know what the official name is, I'll have to look it up. But I uh, hope you enjoyed our walk. And Archie and I appreciate you guys uh, giving us a like, follow and subscribe. And we'll see you in a future video here out and about. God knows where we're gonna go to next, but we'll, we'll take you along for the ride. Thank you.